local first responders now have more resources to fight back against cancer causing chemicals. I'm Tanika Hughes. I'm John Bachman. New at 530 Action News Jack's Ben Becker explains how the new decontamination kits work and their benefits. The dangers of fighting fires just begins when the flames are extinguished. When the fire's out, that's when the masks come off and you start breathing all that stuff in. Chief Curtis Wilson is the director of JFRD. He was joined by state and local leaders, including Mayor Lenny Curry, to announce a new million dollar grant from the state. It will supply more than 4,500 decontamination kits to 405 fire departments throughout Florida, including Duval County. And the idea of this is to get firemen to change past practices. We never cleaned our gear after fires. Clean is the new badge of honor. Many of these kits include things like dishwashing liquid, duct tape, hoses, and plastic bags. Now, they may seem like common household items, but they can help prevent cancer. Randy Wise is the president of Jacksonville's Firefighters Union. This kind of hits home for me. Uh, I'm a third generation firefighter. My grandfather died of cancer. My dad died of cancer. According to the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, firefighters have a 9% higher risk of cancer diagnosis and a 14% higher risk of dying from cancer. That's because firefighters are exposed to toxic chemicals from burning buildings and cars, not to mention diesel exhaust from fire trucks. Action News Jacks told you in August, firefighters in St. Johns County started using MagnaGrip. It's a giant hose hanging from the ceiling that captures cancer-causing diesel fumes and filters out the toxic air through mounted pipes. Chief Wilson says Duval is getting that system as well, and ultimately the advancements are about changing a culture. When firemen started getting sick, people started trying to come up with, you know, a fix to it, and this is a huge initiative. Ben Becker, CBS 47, Action News Jacks.